was surreal. It was it was crazy. It was something that I definitely didn't expect. I had grown up watching football my whole life and, and didn't realize how much of a circus that the whole fiasco is. Uh, you get there and pretty much every day from Monday through Saturday, there's something going on from sun up to sundown. So it's very hard to stay focused on the football side of it, but, but it also gets you excited and lets you know that everybody's really all into the game. So it kind of allows you to focus and say, you know, I'm not going to be out here and have all these people looking at me and make sure that I do well and not have given them something to talk about. But it was, it was a great experience. You know, it, it, it's crazy after doing this, this radio interview, uh, one of the guys said it, said it best. He said, you feel like you got a backstage pass. You feel like you're there, but are you really supposed to be there? Like, can I go on stage with you guys while you guys are performing? This is awesome. But, you know, it's, 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 it's just amazing. It's, it's really kind of hard to put into words. But, you know, just the, the excitement around it, the, the fact that I'm doing something that I love, it's like the fact that I'm, I'm at the pinnacle, you know, of what I'm doing. And, and for most kids who, think about NFL, this is kind of where they dream about, kind of where they wanted to be, and I was there. So it, it was really kind of hard to take it in at that particular time, but once the game was over, you really started to suck it in and realize how much of a blessing it really was. Oh, that one's a little tough. That, 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 that one's a little tough. You know, I had a, a little more skin in the game when I was with Nebraska because I was starting, and, and I had a, a little bit more contribution, and I was playing with guys that I had you know, pretty much grown up with and been with for the last three or four years. So that was a little bit more special to me. But at the same time, the NFL one was, that was the pinnacle. You know, I had dreamed about going to the NFL since I had been four years old. And the fact that I should actually get there and be on a team that could win the championship. And now I got a ring that I can, you know, talk about the memories about that for the rest of my life. I mean, there's, there's nothing to replace that. Oh, yeah, there's, there's, there's definitely brotherhood. And, and it's not just Super Bowl champions. It's not national champions. It's just football in general. So any of those guys that you basically went to battle with and kind of grew up with and kind of overcame adversity with, you, know, you form a bond, and that bond never breaks. So when I see these guys, it's, it's just like we're back on the field when we were young. You know, I would say uh, I would tell them to try to, try to relish the moment, um, but to also not to get too emotional about it, to, to, to make sure to understand that they're there to do a job. And with all the emotion that surrounds the game, that can kind of take you out of your focus and take you out of your comfort zone. It's a game. It's a game. When it's all said and done, you want to be the one that has the most points when, it's all, when, it's, when the game is over with. So do what they do, just like the same thing they've done uh, earlier in the year.